The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loop number 23 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Ocean acidification leads to release of less dimethyl sulfide, that's DMS, by plankton. DMS shields Earth from radiation, according to a paper in the August 25, 2013 issue of Nature Climate Change. Plankton form the base of the marine food web, and some populations have declined 40% since 1950. For example, according to an article in the July 29, 2010 issue of Nature, and they are on the verge of disappearing completely, according to a paper in the October 10th, 2013 issue of Global Change Biology. As with carbon dioxide, ocean acidification is occurring rapidly, according to a paper in the March 26, 2014 issue of Global Biogeochemical Cycles. Acidification is proceeding at a pace unparalleled during the last 300 million years, according to research published in the March 2, 2012 issue of Science. Over the past 10 years, the Atlantic Ocean has soaked up 50% more carbon dioxide than it did the decade before, measurably speeding up the acidification of the ocean, according to a paper published in the July 30th, January 30th, 2016 issue of Global Biogeochemical Cycles. Not surprisingly, the degradation of the base of the marine food web is reducing the ability of fish populations to reproduce and replenish themselves across the globe, as reported in the November, December 14, 2015 online edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Diatoms, one of the major groups of plankton, is declining globally at the rate of about 1% per year, according to a paper in the September 23, 2015 issue of Global Biogeochemical Cycles. The Southern Ocean is acidifying at a high rate because of rising carbon dioxide emissions that may make large regions inhospitable for key organisms in the food chain to survive as soon as 2030, according to a paper published in the November 2nd, 2015 online issue of Nature Climate Change. A paper in the November 26, 2015 issue of Science Express indicates millennial-scale shifts in plankton in the subtropical North Pacific Ocean that are, quote, unprecedented in the last millennium. End quote. The ongoing shift, quote, began in the industrial era and is supported by increasing in to fixing cyanobacterial production. This picoplankton community shift may provide a negative feedback to rising atmospheric CO2. One of the authors of the paper is quoted during an interview, quote, this picoplankton community shift may have provided a negative feedback to rising atmospheric carbon dioxide during the last 100 years. However, we cannot expect this to be the case in the future." End quote. Further research on pr primary productivity in the ocean was published in a paper in the January 19, 2016 issue of Geophysical Research Letters. Referring to the Indian Ocean, the abstract concludes, quote, Future climate projections suggest that the Indian Ocean will continue to warm, driving this productive region into an ecological desert. End quote. For the first time, researchers have documented algae related toxins in Arctic sea mammals. Specifically, toxins produced by harmful algal blooms are showing up in Alaska marine mammals as far north as the Arctic Ocean much farther north than ever reported previously, according to a paper in the February 11, 2016 issue of Harmful Algae. The abstract indicates, quote, In this study, 905 marine mammals from 13 species were sampled, including humpback whales, bowhead whales, beluga whales, harbor porpoises, northern fur seals, stellar sea lions, harbor seals, ringed seals, bearded seals, spotted seals, ribbon seals, Pacific walruses, and northern sea otters. Domoic acid was detected in all 13 species examined and had the greatest prevalence in bowhead whales, 68%, and harbor seals, 67%. 
Saxitoxin was detected in 10 of the 13 species. These results provide evidence that toxins are present throughout Alaska waters at levels high enough to be detected in marine mammals and have the potential to impact marine mammal health in the Arctic marine environment. End quote. 